Hello YouTube, this is uh, Commander Starlock and this is going to be a uh, review of the third Lance, my new baby with the money I earned last weekend I bought this one and also bought an anaconda which I'm uh, equipping out to be an exploration anaconda but this isn't about the anaconda and there will be a video coming up about the anaconda shortly can't promise it'll be this weekend, might be next weekend or when I have off. As you can see I've got it in the gold paint job now I think it looks really good in gold, looks really good in quite a lot of colours to be honest and it's a very effective fighter and I do highlight this is a fighter this doesn't really make a cargo ship even though I have fitted a cargo rack on this and that's just for the sake that I'm beginning to engineer this and uh, you need stuff to carry stuff <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I do apologise also for the lack of content this weekend and such like of uh, streaming and such like. There might be some stuff on the tail end of the weekend, depending when I get this video out as well. It's just uh, got got work's Christmas function on this weekend, so uh, I'll be a bit tied up for the bulk of the weekend with that. Certainly a try for our period. Yeah, but as you see, it's a very nice looking ship. So it's meant to be a luxury uh, fighter. Let's see. I am at a uh, outpost. I don't know if we'll be able to. Uh, no, sorry, poor planning. But we got fitted to this. I do apologise for the quality of this. This is where I'm located. I've got two one size, huge size uh, burst laser. I've got two uh, medium pulse lasers. And then I've got two media multi cannons. Coupled with that, I've got the advanced uh, discovery scanner. That's all when I uh, get ex when I'm in transit. I've also got a C class kill warrant scanner and also chaff. I've also got a point defence on here as well, as you may see there. I've also, I believe, I've got three uh, A class shield shield banks on here. I've also got the top, I think, size five shields. A5s, A5 thrusters engineered. I've got uh, obviously the A class shield boosters, all engineered. Not to point, don't know if they're max, only level 1, en all the engineering on here is only level 1, so nothing amazing. Got plenty of vehicle hanger for when I go collecting stuff to engineer. And also, it's nice to land on planets this. I've got a 4A sensors the uh, update coming. I've got obviously the kill one power distributor which is 6B which are, I, I do them obviously the money to uh, do it to 6A just couldn't find one yet. Got the multi cannon uh, got obviously the usual stuff got the uh, size 4 hour fuel scoop life support, life support is uh, full delta and also engineered frame shift of a full alpha and that's sort of and also you got the power plant engineered as well just to give me the extra bit of juice which brings up to about 27 megawatts what they call this in that area and that's about it and uh, let's launch it and obviously this is the cockpit a very nice plush cockpit this is, as I said, it's purely a fight, and that's what it is for me. This is when I want to go out fighting, I'll be between this. Let's remember what, what, what type of fighting I want to go in. But if one thing that's agile, manoeuvrable, which you can see, you can fur around. And yes, I've got five pips and engines at the moment. And hopefully, my planning hasn't gone totally wrong and there's going to be some extraction sites at this location also a uh, quick update as well, I've ordered myself the new Fussmasters, uh, well it's not new anymore but uh, HOTAS Warthog HOTAS 
Does that mean I'm using the X55? But I also ordered some foot pedals for it as well, since it doesn't have your on it. I'll probably may still keep the, the 55s. A, it's because I want a bit more of a realistic feeling. And I've heard just nothing, f you know, most people move from onto the uh, Fussmasters that come from the SeaTac uh, uh, X55s. Yeah, the 55 is a really good TOTAS system, don't get me wrong. But since I'm doing uh, quite a bit of YouTubing, live streaming, I want something that doesn't squeak as much and moan as much as this. Yes, I could put some oil into the joint that might resolve part of the issue. But that's a personal choice. I thought I'd give you an update. There will be a site improvement hopefully coming. Reference, you know, because you'll be able to hear me using my controls. You still will be able to use hear me use some of the controls. I can't limit that completely out, but I can probably limit a bit of it out. I'm also looking at getting a uh, anti-vibration system for the mic as well, which I think would help out vastly with the quality. But yeah, what do I think of the Furland so far? I think even without it being engineered, it's a very good ship. Has very strong shields, of, and also I forgot to mention it does have the. Uh, I forgot what I have upgraded the hull. It isn't the full combat hull on this, but it's it can take a few more hits than most other Furland lancers. Certainly when the shields uh, get hit. Right, shall I go down a wee bit? This is quite literally like getting a... Uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, this is where we find that there's no extraction point here. Oh boy. Let's have a look at the map. I was just where we're going to. I was hoping on these wings there would be uh, some uh, That's what the base is, I think. Alright, what we'll do is quick change of plan. Let's have a look around the local area. Sorry about this, uh, just uh, when I planned this out I thought there might be an extraction point here. How far is that way? Okay, we're hopping here. Looks like quite a good system as well. Let's pan the route there. Okay. I do apologise, this shows that I don't stage my videos at all. <laughs> Got two jumps. At least it's to demonstrate jumping. <laughs> let's say all great plans uh, fail. Let's uh, down to uh, how we execute them. And that's probably not the uh, precise way of saying. As you can see, it's got quite a small fuel tank on this, so it does drain out quite quick. If there's no, no extraction point here, I'll uh, probably just pop to the nav beacon and uh, show you some basic combat. I should turn on my uh, Skibby scanner. Oh well. Scout. Oh. Mumbling my words today. I haven't even been out in the. D on, out in the. D oh. 
out to function yet. <laughs> Trust me, I've not had nothing to drink yet, <laughs> even though it's probably hard to believe. Yeah, so, uh, as I say, it's a very good combat ship, that's all I can say about it. It's just, if you're coming from a vulture, this is probably, and all you like is pure combat. It's really a very close competition between this and the Python. The Python offers tons of power and by a bit more flexibility in that front and better hull armour. But this offers high manoeuvrability, very strong shields, a huge hard point. Which is effectively two large hard points, really. Well, hang on. That's probably... Uh, yeah, probably about a medium. Maybe two... It's probably about two mediums, probably. I'm not too sure. Oops. Schoolboy area. Knocking the wrong buttons. I shouldn't have done that, oh well. It could have been worse. And so I've sort of very healthy bank balance there, you know, I could effectively buy another cutter if I wanted. <laughs> but I'm not. Oh boy, here we go. Hate when it does this, it's like... I think it's a shoot, I think it's by a server delay or problem in the server front. I've noticed lately, there's been the odd crash now and again off the servers. I don't know if it's the servers going down. A oh, perfect demonstration. I've been knowing a few of those over the last few days as well. It happened once generally for a gaming session. Which I find a bit puzzling. But I've been knowing those sort of things since this patch altogether. Let's replan the route again. Let's go here. That's closer. There's nothing there really. Otherwise, I would. Again, I do apologise about all this again. <laughs> it does highlight, honestly, I do not stage this. I could probably plan it a bit better, but this, this is a bit of a lesson learned sort of broadcast. Yeah, I still need to, that's the reason I'm trying to, I'm hunting around at the moment to find a real good system in the Federation, of which I could work out my ranks. That offers the bounty hunting ideally in a reasonable station. Not too well if it's, I don't want, I would like it ideally for the station to be next door to the bounty hunting areas, but I don't mind to travel. You know, you know, a thousand light seconds to go and do it. As long as it doesn't take the mech, it's like 28,000 light seconds away or something bizarre. Not bizarre, but, you know, not really functional.
I wonder if this means uh, there's hazardous, or as they're saying before hazardous now. As I probably discussed in all my other videos. As they go like low, in you know, a high security, low security, then extraction site, then hazardous extraction site. Is that how it works now? I don't. I do not know. Or is that a bug? And actually the hazardous extraction sites, I have no idea. Or I had just hadn't noticed that before. Obviously the other one you got a high security, low security, and obviously the two are known. They're probably no security. I assume. So I'm just going into this to offers a little bit of security since you know this isn't uh, a trial by fire. And this is the first combat that I've done since engineering a ship in this. Otherwise uh, the combat I've done since buying it had been an engineered ship. Oh, no engineered components whatsoever. So this should be quite interesting. Our plan is just to get the weapons once I've got... I'm not 100% certain if I want to keep this weapon loadout yet. But it's a workable loadout. E.g. one that, you know, is safe and secure to use. Probably, yeah. Uh... Alright, let's get the ship set up. How I like it. I'll be part of the wing. And you can obviously tell what time it is if you're not watching this uh, main Christmas since the uh, bobbling Christmas tree. <laughs> running away. Why is there no pirates when you go looking for pirates? <laughs> I suppose that's quite typical. Security services, scan them so it's a bit quick too. Sounds like some combat somewhere.
Oh, come on, give me something. <laughs> Anything. I won't but take that. Third Lance, the V Third Lance. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's competent, not the best. But a good warmer. Let him break contact and we'll jump on the back of him. And I've got the yellow uh, laser or weapon colouring on there just to match the uh, gold. Not fully decided if I like it yet or not. May pay down quite well. Yeah, a lot of feds up here. Let's get back down into the, the dirt a bit down here. There's actually more security here than there is in some high security areas, I think. <laughs> Which I find amusing. I can't, uh, you know, uh, I do apologise that there's not a huge amount of combat here, but there's only so much combat you can get into without doing something illegal. I suppose it's all down to, uh, you know, the roll of the dice, as they would say. It's a bit dead here. I'll we'll try and probably kill a couple more ships and we'll sum it up. But as you can see, she's very highly manoeuvrable. Oh, we got some combat over there. Let's uh, give her a quick boost. She boosts up, as I said, very nicely.
Not as much as if I scanned, but uh, oh well. So I think that's probably the highlight of the killing here. <laughs> it's just one of those two ships. Yeah. And all I can say about it, she's a really good fighter. I recommend this ship if you want to just purely do fighting. Now the Python is still a massive contender in terms of the multi wall aspect of it. So what we'll do, quickly hop into a quick overview. Yes again what do I think? Yeah, very good ship, very nice looking ship. Well on for what it is. As you can see the huge weapon point underneath her. I'm going to take a quick screenshot just because I can. And she's a very nice looking ship, she's very agile, not as nimble as a vulture, but not far off. And when you get her engineered, what I heard, yep, she can handle almost like a vulture. And even without it being engineered, it's a highly mobile, agile ship. And for the firepower that you can output onto enemy, it, you know, it gets 5 out of 5, or 10 out of 10. It does the job. It's well, it's designed for very well, and it has more of the best set of shields on a ship of its size as well. So you get some shield boosters on there. I can't tell you the numbers, but you know you're going up into anaconda regions of shields. Just also a couple because the mass of the ship is so low. You know you don't really get mass locked by objects as much either. But uh, I said I do recommend the ship. It's staying in my fleet. It's a ship I've owned in the past multiple times. I keep going back to, and as I said, when I bought the Python, I was pondering between buying this ship or the Python. But I chose the Python at the time just because the flexibility of that ship is immense. And as you've seen, it can just do everything, you know, really well. This ship doesn't jump well, engineered wise it only has a 13 light year jump on it, you know that is a negative, you will have to have a fuel scoop, you have very limited hold or storage bays on this so you will be very limited on what sort of loadout, you know you, I was sort of, I chose to have SRV and based between the SRV and the uh, cargo rack if I were to have a shield boosters on here, not shield boosters, uh, shield cell banks on here. I chose to have those two. I was going to have maybe SRVs and the shield cell bank, but I want to have the cargo storage as well to be able to put the engineer stuff in. So you will be limited with this ship, and I'm not denying this ship will limit you in other aspects of the game. And it will be certainly when you come to engineer this thing, be a time when uh, you know when you have to put storage racks on this. A bit of a time when uh, you know it won't be at its maximum capability for combat, but still we're very strong at combat. And as you've seen, it's absolutely stunning ship. It looks stunning in gold as well. It looks stunning in quite a lot of colours as I said earlier. It's one of these ships that. You know, no set of colour rules it. But for my taste, I like the gold. You know, for what the ship is, it's meant to be a luxury ship. You know, gold all the way. <laughs> and why not? And since it's not in the shop anymore, I'm fortunate enough to have bought, bought the colour. And they have done it up since as well, so it actually looks really nice, the gold. You know, for. I didn't know it was the gold, it still looked good, but uh, it doesn't look as good as it good looks now. But it's all about the colour pack, this. I do highlight it looks good in 
pretty much every colour, even in its standard skin it looks good. This is one of the ships that you know you get and you can just leave it in the standard skin and it'll look good all day. And it will be a ship. It is a progress ship through as well for people who just want to do a bit of bounty hunting time. But I think it'll be a ship you'll go back to like I have. It's a ship that I've gone back to several times. And this is the reason why I'm aiming to try and keep the ship now in the fleet. So that's the reason why I'm engineering it. You know, I don't want to spend time engineering on the ship to uh, just give it away, shall I say. Or, you know, yes, you keep the modules, but, you know, there's only so much you want to keep in your module storage. Otherwise, it gets a bit too chaotic. And that could be another goal is to have every module in the game engineered for every ship. But why when you can transfer them? That's that's what I've sort of been doing lately. As well. But it's again, sum up again, ten out of ten. Absolutely beautiful ship. Brilliant fighter all day long. You know, the, you know, this makes a good bounty hunting ship to a certain degree. With a limited storage capability over it. Or oh, oh, bounty hunting ship makes an excellent one. It make, or as Bant says, it would make a really good uh, pirate ship with very limited storage there on it, so you'll be going after like rare goods, like three or four of items. Depending on how you load out the ship. It's not gonna be a strong pirate ship, but it certainly makes one that makes you know, suddenly you think, okay, that guy has the firepower, you know, to put out his threat, you know. So in chat, you'll type in, Oi, Mahati, I want my goods. Stop, drop your shields, or drop your goods, you know, or face the consequences. Hence, pipes do not want to uh, die over it. Also makes a very good PvP ship as well. Very good PvP ship, can be a bit OP this ship as well. Certainly in the ring. That does look good. It, it, it's a ship that looks really nice as well. It's a ship you can just stare all day. It's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. That's what it is. But uh, just hop back in. You know what I think? I said five, you no, know, ten out of ten for what it is. But it's not a a brilliant multi ball ship. You know, you can do piracy in the ship, but limitedly. It's really, all what it is, is a strong bounty hunting ship. And you can't really make a really good explorer. You could get exploring this, but it'll take you age to get anywhere. And with its fuel capacity not being brilliant either, and the fact that you're heavily reliant on fueling up on every other star, you know, that, that that would hamper that massively. The speed and manoeuvrability of this thing is fun though. You know, so if you take down planets, it would be quite good fun. Go through, uh, you know, take a medium sized ship down the uh, canyons. It would be quite fun. And that's what makes it a really good fighter, is the fact that you can just throw this thing around. And this is on maximum engine. Uh, it's moving quite well, but as soon as I put it into optimal mass, this thing just spins around like a boss. You know, you do not want to mess with this. Now, like, you can sort of see your nose in this, or, you know, midway down your fuselage. But that's enough for me mumbling on. Yeah, so I like the ship. Please stay tuned for more. I thought, as I said, I'll give a review on, on every ship that I own. And this is only a quick review on this ship. If you want to see a more in-depth, detailed view in outfitting, I will I will give you keep giving updates on the ship when I've changed weapons out, if I find a more optimal loadout for a certain task, I'll try and uh, put it across. Uh, there will be more content coming shortly. Just, as I said, I've got quest function on this weekend. I can't live stream as 
or I haven't live streamed yet this weekend. I'll try and live stream maybe on Sunday, maybe. I can't promise it, which might be uh, some bounty hunting in this. I do not know yet. I'll see what I feel like doing. Um, but thank you very much for subscribing for everybody who's subscribed. It is massively appreciated. I, I'm shocked and awed by how many people have subscribed so far. And thank you for watching as well. If you haven't subscribed, you don't have to. Please like as well if you liked. Please comment down below. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Do you want to hear more off my channel? For more updates, tutorials, how to's, where to go's, and basically everything elite, you know, that I do. You know, I, I do this because I enjoy the game. You know, I'm not doing this because I, you know, I'm not saying I don't draw up a plan and say, oh, I'm going to do that, that that weekend with YouTube. But I do to a certain degree, but nothing is staged. You know, I don't go like, you know, as, as today, it's not been rehearsed. You know, this is literally down to the luck of the roll of the dice. You know, I do apologise that's not been a huge amount of combat at all. That's only a basic demonstration of the combat of the ship. And it doesn't really f show its full strengths, really. I hope you admit. But overall, it's only a basic review of the ship. But thank you very much, and that's a bit. And safe travels. Over and out.